Lego Technic will make your ideas into official sets. They've posted a survey which you can fill out and make your ideas heard. But before we begin, please make sure to subscribe so that way you can learn all about Lego Technic. I'm on Brookme and I teach you all about Lego Technic, the best sets from a certain category, the rarest pieces, and all that cool stuff, so make sure to subscribe if you want to learn all about Lego Technic. And I will also tell you how you can fill out the survey at the end of the video, so make sure to stick around. I'd like to tell you about some of my personal ideas for the future of LEGO Technic. First up, we have a licensed Tesla model. Uh, specifically, I want to get a Tesla Roadster and about the same size and scale as the McLaren Senna GTR. I don't want it to be too big because if it is very big and expensive, it's still not going to have that much functionality since real Teslas, uh, they're electric vehicles and they don't use any transmissions. The most advanced mechanism that you're probably going to see out of a LEGO Technic Tesla is just a basic differential, which is not going to be a very cool mechanism for a large expensive $200 Lego set. A large scale Tesla would be much better for a Lego creator expert set, you know, which uses system pieces, it can get the detailing much better than a uh, Lego Technic ever could, but a small size and the scale of McLaren and a GTR would be a perfect Tesla Roadster and I would absolutely love to see that car. I'd also like to get a large $250 Ford Raptor set. I would love to get a fully motorized speed transmission gearbox, maybe we can get like four different speeds, although you know, it's not exactly uh, realistic of real Ford Raptors which have more speeds than just four, it would be the most feasible amount of speeds for a LEGO Technic set since if you want to make anything above four speeds you'd also need to use a stepper mechanism and when you motorize stepper mechanisms they can get out of sync. A $250 Ford Raptor with a fully motorized speed transmission gearbox would be absolutely a dream come true and I would love to get a Ford Raptor with some incredible off-road capabilities. I would also like to get some LEGO Technic Boeing sets with the LEGO Technic 42113 Bell Boeing V22 Osprey. It was supposed to be released but unfortunately it was cancelled and it had a Boeing license. So I do believe that LEGO Technic should simply make another Boeing airplane. Some of the most iconic airplanes are both the Boeing 777 as well as the Boeing 747. The 747 would be absolutely awesome, it would have four engines, it's just gonna be so large but it might be a little bit expensive, so I would probably rather have the Boeing 777, which is only going to have two engines as opposed to four, making it much easier to recreate in LEGO Technic. And I would love to get a powered up large motor as well as the powered up basic battery box, which is going to control a multi-directional gearbox. The first function is going to be just uh, the engagement of the actual turbofan engines. The second function is going to be the retractable landing gear. The third function is going to be responsible for both the rudder at the back as well as the ailerons on the wings, and the fourth function could be responsible for the flaps. I really think that LEGO Technic should focus more on complex construction vehicles, something that we have really never seen before, for example a spider excavator, also known as a walking excavator, and with Control Plus, and just so many incredible cool mechanisms like gearboxes, it would just be an amazing set and possibly the single most revolutionary set in LEGO Technic history. LEGO Technic should also focus less on cars and more on airplanes planes, watercraft, construction vehicles, or even a fully remotely controlled LEGO Technic boat. That would be just incredible. Right now LEGO Technic is focused on only making vehicles, but what if instead they branched out to making robots? For example, what if LEGO Technic partnered with Boston Dynamics to make the Atlas robot in LEGO Technic or the Spot robot in LEGO Technic? Those would be just incredible with Control Plus. They would be some of the best LEGO Technic sets of all time. I just want to say, if you're enjoying this video so far, then make sure to subscribe so that way you can learn all about LEGO Technic, but no pressure. No pressure. Finally, I would love to see some improvements in the LEGO Technic Control Plus app. I want to be able to view the actual code of the control interfaces so that way I can copy it in the Powered Up app. I'm also very concerned about the future of Control Plus sets. When some sets get discontinued, does that mean that we also lose the official Control Plus profile? And with only 5 official Control Plus interfaces, the app already takes up more than half of a full gigabyte of storage. So does that mean that in about 10 years, when we have so many more Control Plus sets, the app will take more than 10 gigabytes of storage? I have a very simple solution for this issue. The Control Plus interfaces for all the old sets, even the ones that have been discontinued, 
will still be available. However, they won't be available on the app by default. You have to press an option like download the following control interface so that way only the storage that is needed is taken up on the phone and if you don't have some control plus sets, you simply don't have to download the rest of the control interfaces. I really hope that they don't just delete the old control plus interfaces for sets that have been discontinued. For example, the 4100 excavator has these really weird joints and since you can't access the code in the control plus app, you have absolutely no idea what kind of math is taking place in the control plus interface, so replicating the ideal movement of the 4100 excavator would be challenging in the powered up app. It's not impossible but it will be challenging, especially considering that whenever you buy a LEGO Technic set, you just want to be able to play with it out of the box. I mean, imagine if you're buying the 10-year-old 4100 excavator in 2029 on Bricklink, only to find out that you can't even control it with the official Control Plus app. So how can you make your ideas heard for LEGO Technic? Well, simply go to the following link that I have provided here on the screen. The link is also provided in both the pinned comment as well as the description of the video, so make sure to check that out. And I also want to give a Big shout out to one of my most loyal supporters. He actually let me know about the official LEGO Technic survey, so thank you very much. If you want to learn more about the upcoming LEGO Technic CAD D11T bulldozer, then click on the video right over here. This is your Unbrick Me here, and I'll see you in the next one.